first. Still knotted at zeros. Clean win on the draw. Loose puck brought in by Anisimov. Terrific opportunity, but it's off the mark. You can wonderful stop. The goalie makes himself look big. Routine stop for the goaltender. The shooter's gonna have to do a much better job challenging him. The Blues with a face-off win. St. Louis shifting gears back in their own end. Pass attempt to Zebra. The Blues have killed it off. Grabbed by Zebra. And the loose puck brought in by Anisimov. Good quick stick. Score! Seabrook's quick wrist shot surprised the goaltender in close. I think when he takes a look at this on video, he's going to see he was in really good position, and he just wasn't able to stop a perfect shot. So he played a while in this period, and finally, a goal. I was hoping, Doc, that we were going to get that first one. Chicago's got another face-off win. by number seven. Gets on by, and another strong save. All a part of generating an offense, a little pass off from the goal. Time of the goal. Shoots one. Did not find the net with the shot. Oh, say. Chicago's got it along the side. And this play is whistled down. It is offside. I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. Over three minutes left to go. It's a 1-0 game. The Blues control at center ice. Puck is seized by Taves. Possession seized in the defensive zone by Butler. Puck covered, whistle blown. Defensive zone win. Directing that one to Schwartz. Carries it up the wing. Turned right away with the poke check by Duncan Keith. Save! Take it to the slot! The clock has bled down to the last minute. Puck controlled by Jonathan Taves. Snapping a pass to Tara Vina. Good hustle, won the race, beat the icing. Loose puck regathered by Keith. Chicago's carrying it in their own end. <laughs> 20 minutes have been played. The Blackhawks leave the ice with a 1-0 lead. And let's check out the shots on goal. Seven for Chicago and five for St. Louis. Chicago's goal came on this play. There's at least one locker room that's happy at the end of this period. We'll be right back. Second period about to begin here. Let's take a look back at the first. What stuck out for you? The Blues are down only by one, Doc, and they're lucky. The way they turned over the puck in that first period, this could easily be a three or four goal deficit. Puck dropped and the clock moving in the second period. And the puck is grabbed by Shaw. Wonderful save. What skill? Score! And this one is tied. I wouldn't want to be that defensive player when they look at the video on this one. What a mistake. The Blues have even the game here.
Still in the second period. Anybody's game now. They win the draw and will now set up an attack. And the loose puck taken by Bobies. Slid to run flat. Carries it toward the woodwork. Now it's steered up the middle to Desjardins. Perfect tip by the stick. To Petrangelo. Keeps it going through center. Puck is thrown to Steen. Accidentally blocked. Goalies will take that one. Oh, here's a wrister. Save. He's got it frozen. Not easy. Crawford's athleticism was tested on that wrist shot. That was an excellent scoring chance. The Blues prevail again. Let's it go. And the save there. Chicago's lugging it along in their own end. Gathered in by Taves. Keeps it going up the wing. Right near the line, can he keep it going? Steps between the circles. Oh, great save there. Not much room to work, but he got a good shot away. Not a lot of room to score from in that area. Great save. And he is reefed. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Big drive, gloved. Chip to Terravine. Continues right between the blue lines. Great scoring chance here. Good save there. Skating with it now in their own end. Moving it to Laterra. The Blues in possession as they travel through center ice. Passing one off now to Shattenkirk. Picked up in the attacking zone. Heads on to the corner. Laid on to Jalmerson. Drives to the crease. And the puck taken hold of by Butler. Pass straight up to Berglund. Picks it up in his own end. Chicago's recoiling in the defensive zone. Full steam up the wing. In the slot, he's taken a wonderful work in close and a brilliant save. Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. Elliott's gonna have to be sharp if they keep giving up man advantage breaks. Another good stop. Strong play on that faceoff. You have to be strong to hold that other guy off. Desperate race to get him. Terrific breakup of the odd man rush. Hey, lightning like glove save. Whoa, and one guy's really hot right now, and maybe it'll be two. Well, this is where you might be looking to change the momentum of this game here, Doc, and we'll see if anything else takes place after that. Got his stick on it. The Blues have it in the defensive zone. Still on the move in center ice. On to Desjardins. It's a three on two. How will they defend this? Love save. Propelled to Desjardins. Got it on his stick in the slot. Slid to Bacchus. Up the wing and still with it. Possession established on the pickup by Bumis. The Blackhawks control the play in the defensive zone. To Shaw. Chip to Taves. Chance. What a tremendous bit of anticipation there. Play can continue because it didn't come out. Off the goal post. That's one way to stop the momentum. Cover the puck and get a whistle. Whoa, he was able to get the glove on this excellent scoring chance. Looked like he had a beat, but he's in good shape and he makes an incredible glove stop. The Blues with a clean win on the draw. St. Louis setting things up in the defensive zone. One minute left. Into the last minute of the second period. 
wrist shot and a save. Which there, squeezed for a whistle. Routine stop for the goaltender. The shooter's going to have to do a much better job challenging him. Chicago's got a defensive zone win. The Hawks recoiling back in their own end. Walking a thin line near the border there. Offside is called. Somebody got over anxious there. A face-off win. Let's see what develops. Hammer. Save. He scores. Just before the period ends. When you're taking a slap shot like that, you got to get your whole body into it. He did. Crawford's looking down, checking where this puck worked its way through. He stopped enough of it that it should be in front of him. However, it somehow squeaked through. St. Louis has grabbed the lead here by just a single goal. So let's see who wins this next faceoff, and maybe a goal can come from it. The puck is fielded now by Butler. The second period has been played, and that's the fun part. We now look forward to the third. We take a look at the shots on goal through two periods. 14 for the Blues and 12 for the Blackhawks. Shattenkirk's late period tally has made all the difference and will cause both coaches to say something. Intermission is here. Be sure to stop off at any team store here at the arena. Pick up your specially priced night for the game. Our stock tonight is just 10 bucks. Hurry as supplies are limited. We are entering the third period. Based on the first two, what are you expecting to happen? Chicago is still alive, Doc, after 40 minutes of play. They're down, but not out. They need to clean up their own defensive zone and then look to get a lucky bounce to get back in this game. The Hawks in possession through center. One into another. Even when the puck's on your stick, you better know where everybody is on the ice. And they've got a three on two here. Off his pad. The Blackhawks with possession in center ice. He can start some danger here. Oh, broke it up. That one fired down. The defense will win the race, and icing is called. And yet again, here is Ray Ferrar. Brower's laid the body on all over the place tonight. He's been like a one-man wrecking crew. OK, Ray, he is a special player to watch. Anisimov's lost another, and so has his team. Taken behind by Patrick Kane. Outstanding save. What magic to even get the shot away. A quick developing play right in front. Almost looks like he's too close to the goaltender. That's turned aside. To Anisimov. Jabbed away by Kane. Loose puck gathered by Alex Steen. Blocker it away. Shoot. Did not find the net with the shot. Chicago's up the wing settling things. Odd man rush two on one. That play went offside. Crawford's save is a good one, but defensively they cannot give up another odd man rush. Just a bit under six minutes have passed here in the third. And it is two to one, the score in this one. Neutralized faceoff win. Pitching this one to Berglund. Scooped up by Duncan Keith. Laid on to Seabrook. Pitching it to Desjardins. And the loose puck gathered in by Butler. Looking to Caron. Speared along by Zebra. Chicago's carrying it through center. Possession taken in his own end by Butler. 
Trying to go through Caron. And he keeps it going through the neutral zone. He's got that centering pass. Pass off the woodwork to Taves. Huck fired down. Decision made. Defenders first. Isaac. Chicago's got a face-off win. And that's an offside. The Blues prevail on the draw. Now it's directed to Gunnarsson. And offside is called on the play. The Blues with a center ice face-off win. On to Shattenkirk. Moved up the wing to Yaskin. Could not be filtered through a strong play by Jalmerson. Propelled to Kane. The Hawks with possession up the wing. Scooped up by Anisimov. Decides to go back to his own end to try and get out. Chicago's carrying it on through center ice. And play stuff. No team worth its name is going to let that go. One word of advice. When you're pushing and shoving like that, you better be ready to drop the gloves. between two bitter rivals is over. This particular fight is over, but I anticipate a few more before the night is over. Chicago's gonna be energized from this win. The building's loud, the energy has changed here. from the neutral zone. Chicago's continuing on through center ice. Pass attempt to Tarasenko. Frank's one, and it's driven away again. But gotten behind the net by Daly. To Taves. Corralled by Daly. The Blues in their own end, controlling play now. Slid to Schwartz. Could this be icing? And it will be, based on the defense arriving first. I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. They win the draw. Let's see if it pays off. Gets around him here. The Blues control the play in their own end. Lightning in that glove. Up the wing. They've got a two-on-one. He heads right for the net. And it's nabbed by Bomeister. Good quick poke check there. Taken and held at the blue line. He's through. Great glove save, but it's loose. Nearing the last minute of the third period. And gathered in by Bormeister. And he continues out of his own end. Puck corralled by Alex Petrangelo. In his own end, he still has control. It's an odd man rush. It's a three on two. The puck is free, now taken up by Alex Petrangelo. The Black Box controlling play now in their own end. Puck collected by Zebra. Outstanding point blank save. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. To Anisimov. Still has control in neutral ice. Play to be made now by Butler. Oh, and it's a penalty coming. 
play is stopped. There is a signal. We just wanted to see who it is he's taking off. Chicago's two-minute penalty is for holding. He needs better body position. He's got to continue to move his feet instead of reaching in and taking a holding penalty. The Blues get a critical power play opportunity, and it's their very first one in the game. It begins with this faceoff. St. Louis has control of the puck in their own end. A two-on-two two moving on. Boot it aside. Directing that one to Bickle. Possession seized by Bormeister. The game is over. The Blues have the win in this one. Well, they won by a close score, but the shots on goal was a different story. Yeah, way too close for comfort. Contest two teams gave their very best. See you next time.